Hello everyone, my name is Holly and I hope you're having a great week. Today I have a hecka big book haul for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It really surprises me on how many books I can accumulate in such a short amount of time. And you know, I wouldn't have it any other way, says every addict ever. Honestly, I've had this huge stack sitting out for a while and I finally want to give them official homes on my shelves, so we are doing this today. I am so eternally grateful for all the books I am able to show you today and to review early for you. This is the type of stuff that gets me so excited to read. The arcs here are truly insane, so let's go ahead and get started. You know, normally I just pick and choose, but not today, kiddos. Let me just organize this real quick. Sometimes there are just too many books and you don't know how to keep track of them all. Thankfully, today's sponsor has us covered. I want to give a big thank you to Basmo for working with me today. Basmo is a free upon download bookish app that I can already tell after using it is incredibly underrated and I dare say possibly better than Goodreads. You can organize your books in categories, set a yearly reading goal, it has a really simple clean interface, but Basmo does not stop there. You can even start reading sessions, record your thoughts, your mood, it can even predict how much you have to read to hit your goal which is really interesting. You can set up a free account on Basmo and get started with tracking your reading or get a monthly subscription for $8.99. You can also try out the 7 day trial, highly recommend, and get all of the statistics you desire. This will open up a whole world of details and trivia about the books you've read and your reading habits. Basmo strives to keep you motivated to achieve your personal reading goals by helping strengthen your habits. It truly works well for the readers like us, so if you decide to change up how you keep a reading log, it's a no-brainer to use this incredible service. Thanks again, Basmo, for working with me today. I'm actually going to start with the book that I won in a giveaway, and that is a very early copy of The Desert Prince. I know, what the heck. I saw this giveaway on Twitter and thought, I guess I'll give it a try because I really wanted to read this. It is so hyped among the SFF community and now for sure I will be reading it in the next couple months. It comes out August 3rd, which is actually way earlier than I thought. Well, crap. I'm gonna have to read this next month. I got a surprise email that I won. Who knew winning book giveaways was even possible? This thing is heavy as hell. Like it's a freaking brick. It's floppy by the way. I mean, look at that. Oh, so sexy. The spine is also very bare. Let's call it like a manuscript at this point. And I'm so happy to have it in my collection. So this is the same author who wrote the Demon Cycle series and it is set in that same world but many generations later. And I'm just going to be frank with you, I have not read that series yet. I do own The Warden Man though and will totally prioritize it if I end up loving this, which being the epic fantasy loving gal that I am will probably be the case. So going into this author's work with a clean slate has me very excited. It's already been getting such good reviews, so I will be seeing this book again a lot sooner than I expected, possibly in my July TBR. Next up, I have a few books that Tor sent me, which are all so beautiful and so exciting. She Who Became the Sun. This was a huge surprise, honestly, and it was even more of a surprise when a second copy showed up. <laughs> so I'm actually doing a giveaway on my Twitter right now for one of these. I'll be announcing the winner probably in a few days. But yeah, I don't need both copies. So go enter that. My Twitter is always linked down below for you in the description box. But wow, this is an incredibly hyped adult fantasy debut. And I know how lucky I am to have a copy. I'm so grateful. I do now own the iconic sapphic trifecta. I really feel like this could be something special. It's supposed to be like Mulan meets the Song of Achilles. It's a queer and lyrical reimagining of the rise of the founding emperor of the Ming dynasty. So fascinating, such an interesting topic. Also, we all know that I love me a debut. I get so excited because it's like potential for a new author to find their way into my heart. I have read a few pages of this already because I couldn't help myself and the writing seems really gorgeous and I can't wait to keep reading it. It is actually blurbed by S.A. Chakaborty, who is the uh, author of of City of Brass and that trilogy. This should be really good. Hard Reboot. This is a teeny teeny novella that totally gives me like Transformers Pacific Rim vibes. It's just under 200 pages, I think. Okay, 147. I was kind of close, but it kind of worries me. Typically, I think novellas can really benefit being a full-length novel, but I just hope it's like full of giant mechs fighting each other because that would be super rad. Honestly, I think it's going to be a quick fun read and 
and I'll probably be reading it soon since it's so short. It's just like a quick stop kind of read. I have read from this author before and I like his writing so it's already starting out a positive. Next I have Goblin Emperor and its sequel The Witness for the Dead. So Tor offered these beautiful copies to me and I jumped right on it. I've been interested in the Goblin Emperor for years. I mean it has the word goblin in the title. You might as well plaster my freaking photo on the cover. So The Goblin Emperor came out in like 2014, 2015, like sometime around there. And I'm sure you've seen the cover before. I'll put it on the screen and you'd probably recognize it. It's very popular. It's like a beloved modern fantasy classic. Well, Tor sent over this edition to match its long-awaited sequel that is coming out this month. Now, this is a standalone sequel and it's following the investigator from the first book. Also, it's like way, way shorter than the first one, which is really interesting. Next are all the books that orbit through my way. A few of these I'm actually going to keep short because I will be talking about them more thoroughly in videos very soon. So first up is The World Gives Way. I have already read this one. Full review coming in my reading wrap up at the end of the month or early July, but wow, this is going to be so underrated on booktube and I'm seriously very mad about it. Initially didn't have any plans to read it. I saw the cover and I thought it was like some contemporary. My boyfriend thought it was a western, which is really funny. Little did I know it's a freaking sci-fi epic crime noir like doomsday novel. The beginning of this book sets up an incredible mystery, like one of those mysteries you feel in the pit of your stomach. Big, big bonus that this is a beautiful hardcover. The spine really stands out and it's going to look great on the shelves. Like I said, I'm keeping it short because I will be giving you a probably very gushy review later. Next, I have The Pariah. I am so grateful to have this in my hands. You have no idea. This is a new first book in a trilogy by the popular adult fantasy author, Anthony Ryan. I'll actually be reading this one next month and I am so, so hyped about it. My July TBR is looking so fantastic. I can't wait to film that video for you guys to see. I have been looking forward to this one since only the title was announced. And one of you left a comment in a recent video of mine saying, it's really freaking good. And you gave me all of the jitters. I almost picked it up right then and there, but I need to pace myself. It's following a character who is a thief, part of a band of outlaws who is suddenly betrayed. So it might possibly be like a revenge story. I don't know. I am just so excited to see what happens. Simple, but like super rad cover. One of my favorites. He's so ominous. He kind of looks like a ninja holding like this stick. Is he gonna beat up some baddies with it? I hope so. I also had this beautiful finished copy of For the Wolf, which I have also read and will be reviewing later in a video. This is obviously, as you can tell by the cover, a Red Riding Hood inspired story. I actually did another giveaway for the arc of this one on Twitter, so if you like free books, go follow me on Twitter because I do my best to give away arcs that I get early. I do my absolute best to give back to you guys because you guys mean so much to me, so... Yeah, I have this beautiful finished copy. It has deckled edges. In fact, if I were to do one of those, like, if you like this book, then you should read this book, I would say if you like A Court of Thorns and Roses, you will probably love this one because it gave me such similar vibes, at least like the first half of A Court of Thorns and Roses, where she's in the, like, the abandoned castle that she finds in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, it definitely has those vibes, including like Uprooted. So yeah, if you like those two books, you might like this one, especially if you like fantasy romance. So these next two books are actually part of the same series. Um, I bought myself Chaos Vector, which is book two in the Proctorate trilogy, and Orbit sent me book three, which is Catalyst Gates, which I'm gonna hold up this one first. So here's what the sequel looks like. So this is the third and final book. This series is so far what I've read, a really great adult sci-fi. I've only read the first book, but I really enjoyed it. It surprised the heck out of me. I'll be reading book two in July, hence why I went ahead and bought myself this beautiful paperback. And I'm so happy to have the third one on hand. Maybe just like binge read both one after another would be the strategy because we all know I struggle continuing series. <laughs> this is a sci-fi series that just has everything I enjoy. No long, like difficult and boring sciencey crap. I love me some science, but reading it is kind of like... Nah, like my fantasy caveman brain don't like it. Velocity Weapon, the first book, is fast-paced with dynamic characters, heck of world building, and the entire trilogy together looks absolutely stunning together. Like it kind of looks like a sunset. It is so satisfying. I'll go ahead and put these in their spots. 
a really good friend of mine who is also a great writer surprised me with his new book, Faith Lost, which is the third book in his Pandemonium Rising series. I've read the prequel, and his writing reminds me a lot of uh, uh, Stephen Aryans, who I'll actually be talking about next. This is a grim, dark adult fantasy if you are looking to support an indie author from Ohio, which is also where I'm from. Very highly recommend. SSF bloggers rave about the series constantly. It's always showing up on my Twitter feed. It's one I need to continue myself, and I totally forgot to mention it in my previous video and was kicking myself for that but yes it's following multiple characters in a time of war very very graphic please keep that in mind supposedly a very like emotional kick in your face I'm excited for that there will be a fourth book I believe and I am just super excited to continue on with this series and he signed it for me which is so nice so again if you want to support an indie author and you like grimdark adult fantasy highly recommend this series so speaking of Stephen Aryan angry robot sent me the coward I've read this already and will be reviewing it in a video later in the month how many times do I have to keep saying that I'm so sorry but I just need to let you know I've just been doing so well with reading new releases lately that I feel bad when I talk about them like three times a month so I apologize for that but this is a Stephen Aryan's new adult fantasy where essentially you're following a man who has become I guess like an accidental famous hero and he kind of has to like dust off his gear again for another adventure that he doesn't really want to go on definitely some like kings of the wild vibes with that trope we love to see it super enjoyable very easy to read and I just hope they stick to this cover theme for book two because because if they change it, Angry Holly is so rare, but you still don't want to meet her. She curses like a sailor. Macmillan sent over a couple books, and the first one is Blood Like Magic. I talked about this one in my June releases video, and I mentioned how it sounded really interesting because it's a fantasy that takes place in Canada, and I'm just so curious enough to give it a try. Also, I'm really trying to open up myself to YA fantasy a little bit more. If you've been watching my videos recently, I have been incorporating them more. As an adult SFF booktuber, I don't want to seem like I'm just dragging YA, especially since I saw an Instagram reel that was like, I read one adult fantasy and now all YA sucks and that's just like so not cool it made me it was just very obnoxious to see it was super cringy and it's just rude I don't want to seem like that so I'm incredibly excited to dive into this and it has such a beautiful cover trust me there are just as much shitty adult fantasy as there might be of YA fantasy and there is just as many amazing YA fantasy as there is with adult fantasy it's all legal everyone just love each other <laughs> let's talk about the final book that is in this book haul and that is the wolf and the woodsman which is actually my next read or I'm currently reading it when this video goes up this book got a Sunday instant times bestseller already which is so exciting I think it just came out on June 8th and that's just so great for a debut author it's inspired by Hungarian history and Jewish mythology this book in general just screams like whimsical fall or like woodsy cottagecore vibes I love it it screams some of my favorite aesthetics Let's hope that it's a good one. Ooh, okay, so those are all the books I have hauled in the past month. I am so out of breath, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing what books I'll be reading soon and what new books are entering this space. Let me know which books you are excited to hear from me. Have you read any of these? What books have you hauled recently? I would love to know. Spill it all down below in the comments. And again, a huge thank you to Basmo for sponsoring this video. If you are looking to track your reading more accurately and also doing in a really simple but fun way I highly recommend their links will be all down below in the description box subscribe if you're new I upload videos every single week and tick that notification bell on so you get notified right when I upload so until we meet again happy reading